Dear students, now we are going to discuss open circuited line and short circuited line in detail. Let's start with open circuited transmission line. When the transmission line is opened at the load end, it is known as open circuited line. So this is the diagram of open circuited line. In this, Vs represents sending end voltage, Is represents sending end current. The load end is open circuited. Since it is open circuited, its impedance becomes infinite. That is, the receiving end impedance of the open circuited end becomes infinite. Do you all understand? So, since the impedance is infinite and also it is open circuited, the voltage is maximum but the current is minimum. Do you all understand? For the open circuited, the voltage is maximum current is minimum and its impedance is infinite okay next we are going to derive input impedance for this open circuited line for that we can consider the general equation of input impedance of a transmission line we have already derived this expression in the previous lecture video you can refer that video for your better understanding for this open circuited line, we can directly use this input impedance formula. So, Ezs is equal to Ez0 into Ezr cos H gamma L plus Ez0 sin H gamma L divided by Ez0 cos H gamma L plus Ez0 sin H gamma L. For open circuited line, the receiving end impedance is infinite. That is, Ez0 is equal to infinite. If you are going to substitute this value in this expression, what will be the answer? The answer becomes infinite. Because Ezr is equal to infinite means this term becomes infinite. Infinite plus anything becomes infinite. Then the input impedance becomes infinite. But it is not practically possible. So for that what we are going to do for this open circuit we are going to simplify this expression by taking Ezr outside from this. So, 1 by infinite is equal to 0. So, we are going to make this equation as Z0 by Zr. Okay. So, for that we can take Zr as a common term from this numerator as well as denominator. Do you all understand? If I am going to take Zr as a common term from the numerator means I can get Zr into this term becomes cos H gamma L plus this term becomes Z0 divided by Z0 sin H gamma L. Similarly, for this denominator, we can get Zr is the common term means the first term becomes Z0 by Zr cos H gamma L plus sin H gamma L. Then we can divide Zr here. Do you all understand? So now we have the term Z0 by Zr. If Zr is equal to infinite, then Z0 by Zr becomes 0. Correct? So, we can substitute that value in that expression. We can get the input impedance for this open circuited line is denoted as Zoc is equal to Z0 into cos H gamma L plus 0, 0 plus sin H gamma L. Then we can get Z0 into cos H gamma L by sin H gamma L. That is nothing but cut H gamma L. So, the input impedance for the open circuited line is at OC is equal to Z0 cut H gamma L. Do you all understand? The next one is short circuited transmission line. When the transmission line is short circuited at the load end, the line is known as short circuited line. So, in this diagram, Vs is the sending end voltage, Is is the sending end current. Okay. Here the load end is short circuited. Since it is short circuited, there is a maximum current at the short circuited end, but the voltage is minimum. Do you all understand? If the line is short circuited, means maximum current is flowing through that. Since maximum current is flowing through that, its impedance becomes zero. So receiving end impedance Z is equal to zero for short circuited line. Is that okay? Next, we are going to derive the input impedance for the short circuited line. 
So Z S is equal to Z naught into Z R cos H gamma L plus Z naught sin H gamma L Z naught cos H gamma L plus Z R sin H gamma L. For short circuit line, the receiving and impedance is zero. We can directly put the value of this Z R as zero in this equation. Then we can get Z naught into this term becomes zero. Z naught sin H gamma L divided by Z naught cos H gamma L plus this term becomes zero. Correct. After substituting the value of Z R as zero, this impedance becomes short circuited impedance. It is represented as Z S is equal to Z naught into zero plus Z naught H sin H gamma L divided by Z naught cos H gamma L plus zero. Then Z naught and Z naught divided each other. Then we can get Z naught into sin H gamma L divided by cos H gamma L. Sin by cos is nothing but tan. Okay. So the final answer is Z S is equal to Z naught tan H gamma L. So after getting short circuited impedance and open circuited impedance, we are going to relate these two. So the first relation is by multiplying open circuited and short circuited impedances, we can get the value as Z O C is equal to Z naught cot H gamma L. Z S is equal to Z naught tan H gamma L. So cot can be written as cos H gamma L divided by sin H gamma L. Tan can be written as sin H gamma L by cos H gamma L. Then these terms can be divided each other. Finally, we can get Z O C into Z S C is equal to Z naught square. From this, we can get the characteristics impedance Z naught. Z naught is equal to square root of open circuited impedance multiplied with short circuited impedance. It is very important formula. By using this formula, we can solve some problems. Okay. So characteristics impedance can be obtained by taking the square root of multiplication of Z O C and Z S C. Okay. So the second relation is by using the division by dividing the short circuited impedance by open circuited impedance, we can get Z S C by Z O C is equal to Z S C value is Z naught tan H comma L. Z O C is equal to Z naught cot H comma L. So we can write one by cot. Okay, so here we can say one by cot is equal to tan. Correct? Z naught Z naught divided cot H one by cot H comma L can be written as tan H comma L. Okay? Then we can write tan square comma L. Ratio Z S C by Z O C is equal to tan square H comma L. Then we have to take square root on both the sides. Tan H gamma L is equal to square root of Z S C by Z O C. From this we can obtain the propagation constant gamma along the total length L that is equal to tan H inverse of square root of Z S C divided by Z O C. So we can find out the propagation constant over the length L by using this formula. Now we are going to solve one problem using short circuited line and open circuited line impedances. Calculate the characteristics impedance of a transmission line if the following measurements are given on the line. Z O C is equal to 550 with the phase minus 60 degree ohm and Z S C is equal to 500 with the phase 30 degree ohm. In the solution part, first we have to write the given data as such. As we know that Z0 is equal to square root of ZOC into ZSC. So characteristics impedance can be obtained by using this formula. Then we have to substitute those values here. Here this 550, 500, this toward the magnitudes, we can directly multiply these two values and take the square root term. For this phase values, we have to add the values and for the square root, we have to divide that answer. Do you all understand for the phase values we have to add in case of multiplication. Okay, in case of division we have to subtract. So minus 60 degree plus 30 degree answer is minus 30 degree. So minus 30 degree divided by 2 is nothing but minus 15 degree. So divided by 2 is for this square root term. Do you all understand? Finally, we can get the answer as characteristics impedance Z0 is equal to 524 with the phase minus 15 degree ohm.